Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Rich, and I am a self-wellness coach helping women choose themselves first. That can look like a number of different things depending on the individual, but my passion is helping women become a better version of themselves, choose themselves, prioritize themselves in their personal and professional life. So I know that I have been absent from YouTube. I recorded a video a couple weeks ago and just talked about the fact that in Q1, I decided to choose myself by taking a break, stepping back, pouring into Jessica and coming back um, with a more positive energy, recharge, um, a, a new mindset, I would say, and then also some new ideas to be able to bring to YouTube. But today I just kind of wanted to talk about having a connection with your younger self. So over the past weekend, my family came in town. It was my dad's 66th birthday. So my dad came in town, his stepwife, um, the two kids that they adopted. So they asked if I was their sister. Um, but so the two kids they adopted, which is actually um, my stepmom's, her grandkids, which would be, I guess, um, my nieces, my nieces, you know, but they asked if I was their sister. So, um, my nieces and then also my sisters came in town. So my youngest sister came in town and then, um, one of my older sisters came in town. And one thing I truly enjoyed this weekend was we took my dad to the Cow the Dallas Cowboys stadium, the AT&T stadium. So my family came in town in 2016 to surprise me for my 30th birthday. And during that time, they were going to go to the Cowboys Stadium, but it didn't happen. So since then, my dad has been talking about going to the Cowboys Stadium every year, how he has to come to Texas to go to the Cowboys Stadium. He wanted to go. When I purchased my home um, uh, three and a half years ago, he even mentioned then like, okay, got to come see the house and also go to the Cowboy Stadium. So like this has been on his radar. This is what he's been talking about. We were trying to get him to come to the game, come to a game during last season. That didn't happen, but he happened to come to Dallas for his birthday this year and we were able to take him. One of the things that really, really just warmed my heart and I enjoyed seeing while they were here was him at the Cowboy Stadium. So we ended up taking a guided tour we didn't get to go on the field because they were selling RVs, but we had the guided tour and you can just see the excitement on his face. He even purchased um, a Cowboys hat from the pro shop so that he can give to one of his friends at home to say like this came from the Cowboys stadium. But you can see some of the joy just on his face, very childlike. And I think all of us has some of that in us. And what I mean by is there's that younger self, right? The younger Jessica, the younger you that's inside of you that comes out at different moments in life. For some of us, we hold that back. Um, for some of us, we don't allow those moments where we can just be a childlike and enjoy those moments. And seeing my dad this past weekend, even my sister, my sister, Simone, said she saw it too. Like you can see he was just having a good time. I think the tour was maybe like an hour and a half. The, the Cowboy Stadium is huge. So they're taking you, you know, on different levels. You're also going in some of the suites. You're going into the locker rooms and just really getting a behind the scenes experience. And, you know, even though we didn't really get to experience the field, you could just see the joy on him. And it made me think about, us and myself, but then also, you know, this community of having a connection with their younger self. There are so many things that we've experienced, you know, as children, teenagers, for me, my early 20s, my 20s, my early 30s, that presents an opportunity for me to connect with younger Jessica. And when you think about some of the experiences that you may have had as a child, as a teenager, that you're holding on to, it prevents you from leaving living life if you're stuck, right? If you haven't forgiven your parents, if you haven't forgiven that friend or that romantic partner that you experienced or just the situation that occurred and it's keeping you stuck, not allowing you to live in the moment, not allowing you to experience joy, then it's something that you want to tap into, whether that's with a coach whether that's a therapist or you just doing your own self-work, 
but making sure that you have a relationship with your younger self. I know one of the things that my therapist and I talked about was like making sure that Jessica knows that she's okay. There was this fear of certain things and she's like, you got to let Jessica know. Little Jessica, like everything is okay. I got you. I'm holding your hand. And sometimes we have to have those type of conversations with ourselves. Just right out having those conversations. It could be journaling, you know, maybe it's in a form of meditation, but you have to be able to identify when you are stuck or when you're holding on to child childhood experiences that's preventing you from growing, that's preventing you from moving forward. That's really preventing you from living to your full potential and enjoying life. But then also on another side of that, really enjoying life as just being you. You know, I wear a lot of hats. So you talk about being a a leader in corporate America. I have a podcast. um, I do coaching. I have my, my women's empowerment events. And there are so many hats that I can wear at multiple times, right? But sometimes I just want to be Jessica. And when you allow yourself to just be, you can allow those moments where you have those childlike experiences and you feel like just carefree, right? When you think about when you were a child and the experiences where you just enjoyed life, you didn't worry about things, like being able to live in those moments. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen is one of my girlfriends turned 50 and I absolutely love that we went to, wasn't a park, but we went near the water in Jacksonville, Florida. And one thing she wanted to do was like blow bubbles. Like that was her thing. And um, I just captured a lot of photos of her doing that. But you can just see like, here she is. She's turning 50, right? But there was this like childlike, carefree, joyful spirit about her that I enjoy just seeing. And when we think about just all the things that, you know, happen in life that we experience, the hustle and bustle, the responsibilities, the bills, the relationships, family, friends, obligations, we sometimes put ourselves in a situation where we just cannot be and enjoy those simple experiences, right? Just blowing bubbles, just going on a tour to the Cowboys Stadium, something that warms your heart, something that makes you feel good, something that just makes you smile just because. So I wanted to come on here and just encourage you to not miss those moments, but then also identify why you're not living in those moments. Is there an opportunity to connect with your younger self? What are you holding on to? What are you not forgiving your parents for? What are you not forgiving your ex-partner for? What are you not forgiving your friends for? What are you not forgiving yourself for? Um, And if it's something that is some type of experience that you had that in your childhood you can't move past, is it an opportunity for you to go to therapy, for you to go to a coach? Is there somebody that you can rely on to be accountability partner to help you move forward? But Don't miss the opportunity to live in life because you're stuck and you're stuck in your childhood experiences where you can't forgive, you can't forget to the point where you can't enjoy the moments of life. So just something as simple as just observing my dad, that resonated with me. It felt like something worth sharing, but not only something worth sharing, it was just a reminder for me, like Jessica, enjoy the moment. It's the simple things, right? Enjoy the moment. And when I get into that state of having that fear or these thoughts in my mind that kind of, um, that are from my childhood, right? There's triggers that come from my childhood, from those experiences. Just relax, chill, just be, um, and learn to enjoy the moment or have that self-awareness to remind little Jessica We are okay, girl. We got this. We've conquered this before. You know, this may be a new challenge, but we'll get through it. I'm here with you. Sometimes you just got to have those conversations with yourself and tap in so that you have a relationship to let little you know that you are okay to enjoy life and the experiences ahead. So I hope that you are having a great day. I hope that you will have a good day and continue to really pour into yourself, focus on choosing yourself, focus on developing yourself, right? It's a journey and being self-aware of the opportunities to help you become a better version of yourself. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I appreciate all of your support and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.